Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Here we are in the fall and this beautiful yellow tree is a ginkgo biloba. It is the only species in the whole genus and you can even find fossils of ginkgo leaves. Now it used to have a very wide range, in fact fossils have been found in Canada of the ginkgo biloba leaves. Now, today, um, the native uh, trees will grow in some regions of China. Now, this tree is a nice size for my landscaping. In China, where they do grow natively, they can be up to 150 feet tall and even up to 2,500 years old. What a long life for a tree. That's wonderful. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, shape of the leaf which has two lobes and that's why it's called ginkgo biloba. Let's take a look at that a little bit closer. So I have some examples here of the ginkgo biloba leaf and you can see on this one's a really good example of the two lobes. That's what biloba means, the two lobes. Now if we could look closer with a magnifying glass we would see that the venation on the leaf it comes from this, sing this uh, center point, this single point, and it just goes out, straight out. Although, if we could look uh, on a magnified level, we would see that there's bifurcation. Now bifurcation means splitting, um, so uh, dividing into from one into two. So we might see that pattern here in the venation of the ginkgo biloba. Now there's another kind of venation that I'd like you to see, and that's called anastomosis. This is a hydrangea leaf, and on the uh, venation here you see the main vein here, and then these sub-veins going across out to the margin, and then there's other little interconnected veins that go between these, um, these veins that go out to the margin. And those are actually connecting to another vein, and it makes a network. Now the network can um, add some support and structure, but it also can uh, assist in the uh, distribution of nutrients and, and water. So that is another kind of venation that you would not see on the ginkgo biloba. But this happens to be a hydrangea leaf that has this other kind of venation. Now, uh, just talking again about the ginkgo biloba, you, the trees are dioecious. That means there's male trees and female trees. Now, you will probably find at a nursery the male tree, and there's a good reason for that. The female tree produces a fruit that has butyric acid in it, and butyric acid smells like rancid butter or vomit, so that is not the kind of tree we want to have in our landscaping. Um, just a little, a little thing to be aware of. So we have some vocabulary words. We have the bifurcation of the veining. We have anastomosis, another kind of veining that is, means a network. And then we have butyric acid, that smelly acid, smelly product that we would not want to encounter. And we also have dioecious, which means separate male and female plants. Well, there's a little bit to learn about plants in general and about the ginkgo biloba. There's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.